keep trying to hold it, you just knocking it around. Good morning. How you feeling, Cal? Feel good. Wind's gonna blow. Doubt. Last day of practice, I actually went looking for some protected areas, so we'll see what we can fish and what we can't. It's gonna be gonna be different today for sure. We had an off day with super warm water, warm weather, and the water temp has got to be rising fast. So practice usually whenever I put in in practice, the water temp is like 52 to 54. We'll see what it is when we get there today. I bet it's gonna be 56 or 57 whenever we get there. So <clears throat> those fish that are out staging super deep. There'll be more pull up to that zone, and then there'll be more pull up to the mid depth zone. I think they're just all gonna pull up to those zones where they stage. But I just wanna, I wanna feed two separate four, 14 pounders today. I'm doing one right now. Maybe we'll, maybe another one out there in the middle of Toledo Bend somewhere. 14 pounder. I got them out there. They got 14s. Yeah. There was a few. I've heard of a few over 10 caught. I've heard of two 11s caught in practice. Yeah. An 11 8 and another another guy caught an 11. What weight would you be happy with today? Anything over 20, I'm not going to be mad, but uh, it just kind of depends. Like, if I go catch two sixes and weigh 20, I'll be kind of mad. If I catch, uh, you know, my biggest fish is less than five and I weigh 20, what can you do? You know, that's just how it is. It's just really about the decisions and the pace and how, how well I think I fish. That's really what I, you know, am I going to be mad or not about, you know, like, if, I, if I'm rushed, and I end up, you know, having a struggle day because I, 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 I rushed myself and I, you know, got rushed in the wind and tried to fight it or whatever. Like, that's a, that's what I'd be mad about. But as long as I go catch them and, you know, have a good day, have a good pace, I'd be happy, you know. What's going to be the cut line today? Today, probably, like, uh, it's windy, so I would say, like, 17... 17.4, 17.5 will be 50th today. And then I'm gonna say the, the weights will go up tomorrow. Tomorrow, So it'll take, it'll take 17.5 and then probably 17.5 and 18 or something like that to get paid. It's a lot warmer today than it was two days ago. A lot warmer, yeah, like I just walked out, it's 60 out there right now. In February, it's 60. They will be biting a buzz bay, a frog, a swim jig, and we going fairy winding, but we got a choice you know like well that's how i found them in practice and that's what we're going to do but we're definitely going to check on those fish that are up or see if we can find some because that's what i'd rather be doing anyway so we're going to start off fishing offshore scoping and we'll try to go to the bank when the sun gets up a little bit we'll try to fish around shallow how did he sleep last night he didn't bother me none I probably bothered him. I was tossing and turning last night. <laughs> you kept the baby up. I kept the baby up all night. <laughs> the baby's like, yeah, dog, if he'll go to sleep, I can get some rest. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait. He probably looking at me like, will you go to sleep? Somebody get him a bottle so he can go to sleep. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. It's blowing, it's warm, and I don't know where I'm going to start. I got your coffee, your highness. Hey, sometime this, this uh, I don't know when exactly, but this spring, I'm going to come back and forth through Tuscaloosa quite a bit. And if your schedule allows, and if you want to, I'd like to do a SMC, like a TV deal yeah, yeah. with you. Some of those lakes around there. Yeah. Especially in spring, it'll get good. We can just fish. 
can fish the Warrior. We can fish. I've never been to the Warrior. Really? I mean, I, I, I live I live a little ways from from yeah. the to the place. My wife's going to fish the Warrior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I've always we fished it the other day, but there's other places we go lay. We go anywhere. Yeah. I mean, the Warrior used to be ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Like this stuff, I think it's still pretty good. Yeah. We yeah. went we went to a, uh, a pond the other day. So just filled an SMC. Forty pounds. That's what he said. Forty one to be exact. Yeah. Like the first three fish he caught were like three eights, and I'm yeah. like, he's got a spinning rod. And I'm looking across the lake. He's got a spinning rod in his hand, dude. I'm like, what you got, Caleb? We got a daggum line. We're waiting in. I mean, I don't know. If we should have uh, had a way around this. We ain't moved far at all. Everybody's having to pay, I guess, to to get into the park, and there's a lot of spectators. Which I mean, that's fine. That's good. But like. I need to get in there, you know? I mean, we, we were sitting in this line at what? 620? Mm -hmm. This is a big ramp, so you would assume you just pull in and get there, but there's a little pinch point right here where you gotta freaking pay, so. I don't know, we got 30, 30 minutes till blast off, so. I don't know, might have to get out and start rigging some rods in the dang line to get in the park. Oh well, it'll be good. All that's over. So it's a brand new, fresh slate. We got to make the right adjustments. You know, every time you're this close to the spawn, we're right in front of the spawn right now. We had an off day, a lot of warm weather. I'm anticipating having to make adjustments. And you know, that's how you win AOI is making a lot of adjustments. And we got to just keep it going, keep the momentum. If we can get off to a fast start, I think we'll be able to jump around a little bit and try to find where those fish have moved to on the off day. So looking forward to it today. Four-time angler of the year, the 2020 Bassmaster Elite Series Angler of the Year from Texas, Clark Wendland. Another one of our rookies. Let's welcome him right, ladies and gentlemen. Get loud for Logan Parks. This guy has an incredible track record in this body of water, looking to keep it rolling. The former college bass champion, Cody Huff. A four-time Bassmaster winner, a three-time member of the Bassmaster Century Club from Somerville, South Carolina, Patrick Walters. He's your reigning and defending Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, Stone Cold Kyle Walters. Start the day off with a dang three pounder. Bassmaster leads are back, baby. Fired up. Ain't no doubt.
three pounder. Actually a little over, like a three two. Number one. First one of the season. On the little side too. He's seen it, boy. He got it. I just said, I'm a little fired up right now, so I ain't hitting them. Like, I done missed, like, three really, really good opportunities I just jacked up, but we'll settle down and we'll catch them. There's a good one right there. Three, three feet too short. Yeah. Be a bass. Dang, another skinny one. No, it ain't just a little one. God, he thumped it. He gotta be 14 though, I mean. I had to just hold it in his face. I ain't been catching none like that in practice. I mean, he's fat though. He should be close to two. One eighty. What's up? One nine. Third fish ain't a six. We got three for six. Big spot though. He was already bleeding when I swung him, so I wasn't about to put him in there. God, these are all freaking look like little ones. Hit a stump that threw me in. I mean, he's bigger than that last one. I don't think he's 14.
Man. We got to fight for them today. Eat him right now. Come on. One and a half, I think. How much? One nine. Uh -huh. So that replaces the one you let go. Yep. I think he's like half an ounce smaller than when I let go. Yeah. But it's all right. He's at 2 4. I thought he was bigger than that until he got to the boat. That's why I just swung him. Might go back in that place I started now. It might be happening. There we go. Thought he was gonna be a big one. Did I break my hook? No. Who that's in here, dude? I just couldn't catch him this morning. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like a two eighty. That's a big and I think. It ain't no big and
When he saw it though, he was about it. It was a two and a half. We're about to do it. We got a little bit of time left. We just need one bite. God, dog, when he finally saw it, dude. It is little. I mean, I threw at him and threw at him and threw at him, and he finally saw it. Skinny one. Yep. I don't think he's going to help. Look at him barely swimming off. No, just a super fat large one. Have you been looking at bass tracks? All right, first day of the Elite Series, had an absolute terrible day, and it's 100% my fault. Like, I found good enough stuff, I just fished super rushed today. My starting spot kind of spun me out a little bit, and I tried to get it back, and I never could get on anything. So, tomorrow we're going to slow down and try to get one bite at a time instead of trying to do what I did today and trying to catch 30 pounds. So, got to definitely change up, sit in the better areas, and just milk it and make sure we generate some bites tomorrow because we did not do that today. Time to bring out our reigning and defending progressive fast master angler of the year from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Five fish here today. I look around, I see the fans, how they surround me in the stands. Probably could drown in a sea of hands, they holler and shake. Five fish for 15 pounds and five ounces. He moves into 31st place currently. Digging deep in that crust city, weighing back. Gonna hold a few for you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for your reigning and defending progressive fast master angler of the year. So a decent start to things. Yeah, uh, well, I wouldn't call that decent on this lake, but I, like, I absolutely fell in love with this lake in practice. Like, I thought it was going to be, you know, well, it, it is showing out, it is being good, but I feel like I was going to be able to catch them a lot better, but I just made some very big mental mistakes today. I just got rushed and I did, didn't fish very well at all, but I'm really glad that we're on this lake because a 30-pound bag is possible, and I plan on, you know, making a comeback tomorrow because I was around them. I just didn't make the correct adjustments, so we're going to think about it tonight and get back after it. We'll get the dirty 30 tomorrow. I look forward to seeing it. How was your day, Dad? Not good. Not good at all. It's better than it could have been because <clears throat> I didn't even fish good enough really to catch 15 pounds. But a lot of really close calls, a lot of missed opportunities. I mean, it's just one of those things where, like, I was not fishing well today at all. And if I was just fishing a little bit better, like I catch two or three more fish, you know? And if I was fishing a lot better, I catch like 15 more fish and then for sure have like 22, 23 pounds, you know, easy, you know? So just got a little rush today, 
I'm not gonna do that tomorrow. I think we got to the root cause of why. Why? Wrong shoes? Look at them shoes. I didn't wear these. I know. I wore some J's. But you didn't wear the J's. I wore some J's who was trying to break in and uh, maybe I'd just get broke out instead of broke in. So. We gotta break out in the old house this morning. Is that what you think? Mm -hmm. He's struggling. He don't like being on his belly. Little man's struggling. Hi, baby. That's very unusual. Look at uh, Kyle's PowerPoint, y'all. What are you even talking about in the background of this video?